everyone, how you going? It's Aiden with EDM Prod here. And this afternoon in lovely Melbourne here, I am going to be doing another one hour build. Uh, a few of you guys have requested me to do a house song with a sample, uh, kind of a bit more of a old school raw kind of house sound uh, based on what I did last time. But this time, as I said, using a sample instead of relying on synths. So uh, I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do this one for a while. Uh, if you haven't seen the series before, essentially how it works is we try and create an entire track in an hour um, from scratch. So we don't have anything pre-prepared besides like presets maybe, but there's nothing on the canvas, nothing on the door. So yeah, um, feel free to stick, skip around ahead this video if you want to, but to get the most out of it, I'd recommend just watching from the beginning. Uh, it does take a while, it is an hour long, but uh, you learn a lot of tips along the way and you'll be able to see how full track comes together. All right, uh, without further ado, let's start. Cool, so I'm gonna find like a sample. depressing that could be cool not a fan of the guitar no. No. Ooh, that's really cool all right I actually really like that let's find like a few good Snippets from here. So we're going to warp it and we're going to set, delete that marker. Set 1.1.1 1. 1. 1 there. We're going to warp from here straight. Let's turn it into like a loop. <laughs> Before we forget, let's switch the BPM to like 120. I'm kind of thinking. Yeah. Let's try repitch and see how it sounds. Whichever is kind of fine. I think that um the the beats mode kind of has a bit of a um a nice kind of glitch to it, which I kind of like. But some people might not like that, so maybe perhaps play around with it and see what you like. I'm gonna try and find a few different trops now. I think I want to pitch the whole sample down a bit just to kind of give it a bit of a deeper feel. I'm also going to compress those hats. Maybe I'll just do a bit of EQ to get rid of those really. Do a bit of EQ on the lows. Uh, 
I may do some processing on the bass separately and split the sample out. But for now, I'm just going to do this quick hack. <laughs> Maybe I'll... I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the original bass in there or not. Uh, let's see if we can do any cool kind of other chops from this sample. We don't necessarily have to use a two-bar loop. <laughs> not quite. You know, I probably, in hindsight, should have... Let's delete this marker. Uh, and I'll walk from here, but won't, no, won't walk straight. I would rather live a life means living without you. I would rather live a life means living without you. I would rather live a life means living without you. Living without you. Living without you. Why is it doing that? I think. Living without you. No, I don't want that. I want that. Living without you. Living without you. Living without you. I would rather live a life. I would rather live a life. Living without you. I would rather live a life. Living without you. I would rather live a life living without you. Living without you. Living without you. Living without you. First thing I wanted to start doing is getting this like a nice groove on. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to try and use like some sort of loop. Um, that's not really a... Uh, what have we got? Maybe that. Um, Yeah, maybe like... I want to layer that with another clap. So, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I like that clap. And we will... I'm wondering if I should take out that sample completely. Huh, maybe that's a good way to go. And kind of like use that like that. Let's see what else we've got. No, it's not. Let's see if we can layer this sample with something else to make it a little bit more interesting. Something like that. 
queue out the lows here just to I think I definitely need to sidechain this sample. Uh, actually, probably should probably find some sort of kick. Some sort of house kick. Um. That one's pretty good, actually. That's probably quite, um... Good. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, so first of all, let's turn this down. Let's kind of start to snap these on. It's really important to kind of get the timing right. Actually, how are we going for time? All right. I do kind of want to fill this out with more percussion. I do want like a hat. Maybe I want to go MIDI track instead of an audio track for the hats. Um. I need to get a groove. Uh, that's all I need to do. So we'll go to packs. Core library swing, MPC. I think the 55 is probably good. Or I could. I don't think that's enough. Maybe I need to go like 65. Or even 75. Maybe 70.
some sort of some sort of impact or something. Um. <laughs> I want some like vinyl in here. So let's make sure to grab some of that. Be kind of cool, a little background effect on warp. That's right, we're gonna sidechain this because it definitely needs it. Call this kick. I think it'd be cool to find a spot in this track. That's a cool chop. I think I could lay that over the top somewhere. And EQ the lows out, so it's just kind of that high end. I think it'd be cool to add some sort of like chorus. I think there's a bit of weird stereo kind of stuff. And I think it would be definitely a good idea, like, um, I think it'd be definitely a good idea to Yeah, filter this down here, so like Something, I think there
that over, not as intense. I think I like to add some sort of like echo to it as well. T8 reverb space. It's got like a really 80 sound. that hat down there a bit. I feel like some sort of drum loop as well, since going with the theme of like... Some sort of st high string coming in. Uh, I think I got something on my desktop. Yeah, I'll add that folder and I think. Hmm. I think it might take a while to index. Yeah, that's cool. In this part here. Add that. like a kind of another DJ intro sort of thing. Um, and then this 197, I'm gonna edit that to 197. Thanks Ableton 10.1. Let's take this out. Take the kicks out of the first part. Let's 
start with it down. Some sort of crash. That would be sick. Like that. With some delay. Very, very, very subtle amount of delay. And it's not that loud. I've never used this much, but I'm actually going to try using an expander. Uh, how do I do that? Yeah, right. So, expanders essentially accentuate the dynamic range. And I want to... It's like... I just kind of want to accentuate the sound. Let me add like an auto pan as well, like a really subtle one over like four bars or something. I'm gonna actually vary this up a little bit and then kind of just Side chain and chuck it on the string over here. sound kind of I 
think some cool kind of left to right sort of effect. <laughs> Find like a 909 hat. Yeah.
like that better because the crash in the sample is way too way too familiar like common <laughs> I hate it when Ableton doesn't copy properly. Am I wrong? Am I wrong to fall in love? Deep in they don't make it easy in the new one, but it's okay. Let's just check the thing. Am I wrong to fall?
does start to get kind of a bit this loop um, to be a bit this way tidy everything up. I feel like I want to add OTT to this sound. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't add it to a track like this, but kind of just brings that out nicely and squishes the vocal a bit more. Okay, so <laughs> this is going to be slightly an issue. Uh, let's just copy this over the whole track because we want that to stay like that. I think I want to add that same tape reverb space. If I was a smart person, I'd just put this on the send, but hey, I'm an idiot, so. Do 
don't know what I was trying to do there. Okay, let's uh, group this drums together and kind of process these. those drums together. Yeah. All right, let's add like some, I'll use decapitator because I like it.
just tightening up the side highs, making them a bit brighter. Give that a bit of reverb. too loud got a minute left anything else to tidy up Nice extra little bit of interest to the drums. Decapitator and boom. All right. Okay So let's give this a listen through It's quite long. I could probably cut down the arrangement, but hey, let's listen through most of it and go from there Thank you. 
awesome. I think that pretty much gives you guys an idea. Um, I'd change the arrangement a bit if it was an actual track, but uh, pretty cool overall. Uh, if you guys have any questions about any of the techniques I've used in this video, as always, let me know in the description. Um, let me know in the comments rather. Same with any other genre ideas for this series or any other video ideas for our channel or anything really, um, just leave it in the comments below. If you liked this build, give it a like on the channel and also subscribe for more of this series and other videos too. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you got some great production techniques out of it. Apart from that, I hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you then. Bye.